Hey guys, it's Tiffany and Two and Tiff One coming to check in and see how y'all doing. And see what's going on with this energy, this crazy energy that's still lingering and lurking around. So you hear what it is. This little coven group that's, you know, tried to come against you during this full moon cycle here was, was so important for them to come cipher your energy. Now that you defeated these people, they are still following you around. And they send in other people, like people you knew for years, to come question you. Okay, to come questioning you and see what you know. And trying to, you know, threaten you in a sense. To try to, it's like a scare tactic. Because yeah. they all know you're talking the truth. Because some of y'all are speaking out and some of y'all are definitely telling the truth. <laughs> and there's nothing these people can do about it. This this secret society, this witch's coven I'm hearing. The Illuminati, the Masons, the Eastern Stars, the ones, these people who've been coming against you all your life. They, you keep defeating them. And they're going to keep trying. Okay, they are. They are. They devil. They work for the devil. But around this time, they're going to be sending in other agents. Be careful. Be cautious. Don't talk too much. Tell, tell, her, tell her like it is. You know, because they're all getting caught up now. Okay, karma is hitting these people in their ass. And that's for sure. So they're going to send in agents, people who you knew for years, that's involved with them. Okay, people you think, people they think you're still talking to. Okay, so you ain't talking to nobody. <laughs> so they're going to bring in people, send in people to come pick your mouth. Okay, so say what it is. Don't let nobody threaten you. Okay, you don't fear nobody but God. Fear not. Say exactly how you feeling. Okay? And nobody can... I don't give a fuck if people saying you crazy. Because you're telling the truth about them. I don't care the fuck they're trying to threaten you. So they're going to put you in a crazy house. Because you're telling the truth about them. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to no crazy house. You're saying... You know exactly what you're saying. Okay? You get messages from the Most High. The Most High is telling you the truth. That's where you get your messages from. Nobody else. Nobody else's mouth. Okay? So... Just be cautious out there, y'all. That's all I got to say. Be cautious out there because they are losing. And when these people are losing, they go do, you know, lynch to try to take you down. They couldn't beat you. They're going to continue to try to beat you. Through spell work, through slandering, you know, do everything they can possibly do to try to tear you down because you don't want to be a part of them. You're not like them. And since you don't want to be around them, and since you don't want to be in a little coven, in a little society, and do evil shit, they do evil shit to you. They do evil, predictive, malicious shit to you because you don't want to be part of their fucking evil ass coven. You rejected these people. These people are insane. These people are not right in the head. These people are demonic. These people are crazy. So they do anything they can to try to stop you on your path. They don't want you to ascend. They don't want you to master yourself. So once you start mastering yourself and once you start to wake up to truly what these people is about, you take your energy away. And they don't like that. I never in my life I would have thought I had to throw away my whole goddamn family. Okay? And a, a lot of us do. A lot of us do got to separate and detach from family members who came against you. For no good reason, because you're chosen. That's it. Because you're chosen. You don't want to be a part of them. You don't want to be a part of them. So they would definitely send people in, people who you talk to, like I said, still, to um trying to threaten you, okay? Try to make you back down. No. You keep going. Keep saying what you're saying. Keep telling your truth. Okay? Until everything is resolved. And everything going to work in your favor. Because you're innocent. And anything these people have done to you. Your karmic family members. Karmic lovers. Karmic friends. Whoever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever they have done to you. They're going to have to pay for that. You're chosen. You're a star. So you ain't got nothing. You don't have this. Whatever they have done to you. They should have never did it. You don't have nothing to do with these people no more. And when you separate from narcissistic people like this. They go do everything to try to tear you down. Okay? 
to not let these people tear you down. Don't let nobody come in with no scare tactics. I don't give a fuck how old the person is. I don't care if it's your father, your mother, your grandmother. I don't give a shit who it is. Okay? Because God said, told the parents, don't provoke the children. Okay? And some of these karmic parents have provoked the star seeds. You understand? So stand up for yourself. Continue to stand up for yourself, collective. Don't let nobody come and give you no type of scare tactic. Don't want to try to make you feel like you crazy. You know what the hell you talking about. You know exactly what you talking about. You know exactly who you hear. You hear, you hear from the most high. That's who you hear from. You hear from God. And they know it. They scared now. They running scared. So they're going to send in all kind of agents to you to try to pick them up to see what you know. Try to back you down. Try to scare you. They know you ain't scared. They know you ain't scared. They know you strong. They know you getting your power from the most high. They know for sure you get your strength from God. They, all this spell work these people been trying to do on these Eastern stars, I mean, Masons and this secret society they were doing on all the chosen ones, trying to cipher our energy, try to kill us all so they could live. No, it's not going down like that. It was never going to go down like that. Okay? So... Because that's what I experienced today. I experienced um, my sister-in-law's brother approaching me. I, I knew he... I was I already had a vision I was going to see him. <laughs> Immediately, I already knew why they sent him. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm talking to him. This only person I talk to. I ain't seen him in years. So all of a sudden, I see him twice in a month. Immediately, when I start breaking out with the truth of the matter of this fucking comic-ass family I got... You know, immediately they started sending in agents who they think I would talk to because I didn't see these people in years. Immediately I picked up on the energy. I already knew this person was sent in. I already knew what they, and he come to tell me, oh, they're going to put me in a crazy house because I'm talking the truth. No, don't kind of scare me because anytime we go to court, I'm going to win. All right? The most I got, God got me. And all my ancestors and spirit guys, they got me. They the one put me up to the shit. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so I know I'm covered. And y'all are too collective. Y'all are covered. Y'all are locked in. Y'all are tuned in. Y'all are in. <laughs> okay? Y'all don't cross. God don't cross you over. God don't cross you over for this battle here. And you always going to win the battle. Because you are innocent, pure hearted, you're a kind person. You got a mission here to do on this earth. And that's what you're here to do. And that's what you can continue to do. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't stop. He's going to tell me, oh, behave myself. I, I looked at him like he was a whole fool. I'm 45 years old. I ain't no kid. That's the whole thing. These narcissistic people, they in that kid mind. They stay in that kid state. I don't give a fuck. They be 60, 70, 80 years old. They knock. Them lots of people don't grow. They stuck. They stuck as childhood. I don't give a fuck how old they are. They could be your father, your grandmother. I don't give a shit. Your auntie, your mother, brothers and sisters. I don't care. Cousin, I don't care. When they narcissistic, they have trauma in their childhood. They stuck there and they project their shit out onto you. Okay, I know all the star seeds. I know for sure all the star seeds had a narcissistic parent, narcissistic family, narcissistic friend, lover. They the ones be waking us up. What kind of demonic characteristics they was carrying? We start to wake up to see how truly who these people truly are. And they're trying to deem you crazy or they're trying to deem you a witch because you don't want to work with them. Keep on. Come and hitting these people in their ass. They're going to scare. They don't know what to do. Okay? They're going to try to do scare tactics. Gang stalk you. Follow you everywhere you go. And all kind of shit. Because you want to work with them. And they're trying to make people make you look different. And they people are. People, people love you. People know exactly who you are. Your, your glow, your shine. Everything sit on in you. It's on you. Nobody can take that away. It's on you. You don't even got to say nothing. You got to utter a word to nobody. People can feel your aura, your energy is, is positive. We sniff out the demons. We know that's why we separate ourselves from these karmic family members and friends. and Because uh, we can sniff them out. We already know you are demonic. 
Why the fuck we want to be around somebody who's demonic, who's working for the devil? We don't work for the devil. We work for God. So that's why God always separates us from these people. So don't let nobody come in in your world approach you on some scare tactic shit. These people are weak. These people are losing. They lost. So immediately, they're going to send somebody in to try to fucking gaslight you. To try to scare you. You don't scare, listen, you don't scare easy. I know I don't. I've been through rough, rough times. With people who I knew for years. Family members, friends, ex-lovers. Rough times. So I can get through it. Y'all persevere through it too. So ain't nothing scaring me. I ain't scared of shit. I'm scared of God. <laughs> I want to do what God say do. Yeah. Collect this. Yes, that's what I experienced today. And if it happening for me, it's going to happen for y'all too. Because they don't want y'all to talk the truth. As soon as you start talking the truth, they start. As soon as you're getting connected to the Most High. As soon as you're getting connected to God, immediately you start to wake up. These motherfuckers are going to say you crazy. Or you're going to try to put you in a mental. With... What? You're not mental. These is the motherfucking mental fucking warlocks who try to fucking project they fucking crazy on you. Once you start waking up and seeing the truth of the matter, these people start going crazy. They don't know what to do. Because they know their time is up. Once you start waking up, you going to realize what kind of shit they was doing behind your back. For sure, you're going to wake. You ain't going to let nobody hurt you. This is your life. You got a higher purpose than these people. They work for the devil. They ain't got no purpose here. They already sold they stole a long time ago. They got nothing to do with you. But for sure, you ain't going to be no scapegoat. You ain't going to let nobody hurt you either. You want to live too. And you're going to continue to live. And you continue to stay on your mission. Period. Because I realized when, I, when he approached me. This comic. Okay. I realized why I seen him again. In, in the same goddamn month. Because I'm talking true. Because I blew up on these fucking fools. Don't try to play me like I'm some idiot. I ain't, I ain't slow at all. And I ain't crazy at all. I'm good for how many of y'all can say she's crazy. No, I'm telling the truth about y'all. That's why y'all gonna say I'm mental. Let's do this shit. I'm ready for it. Cause God gave me the right of way to talk the truth. Cause any high wake up to the truth, y'all would the motherfuckers try to kill me. I'd have been dead already. So I know I'm covered. Okay, and so was y'all collective. So was y'all. You can feel you are star seed. You can feel the spell work. You can feel the death spells. You can feel all of that. You feel it. And then you see it. And you can see who's putting it on you. Because we're getting higher. Once you start going through all yours, you get higher and higher. Christ like abilities. Period. You get higher and higher. You can see this shit. And you ain't fucking with nobody. You innocent. You're a natural born healer. You're only down here to help. So when these little covers and shit notice that you got this type of power and ability, for sure they want you to work with them. But you're not evil. You don't work for the devil. So immediately they're going to try to do some evil shit to you to make you seem like you're evil. No, let God handle them. We're not into spell work. We're not into killing. We're not into robbing and stealing. Okay? So... I just wanted to give that little spill out. I'm going to give it a little reading in a little while. Let me just take get myself out of this energy that just happened to me. So it's going to happen to y'all too. Because you know, you want to won that spiritual battle that these people try to put on us with this full moon here. All right. And they still trying to do some dumb shit. They just scared. They in fear. They depressed. They, they sad. Okay. That's not your energy. You got victory here. Mm-hmm. So, you Rick, yeah, you've been vindicated. Your ancestors is not playing around about you. And that's that. They know it now. So don't let nobody be no scare attack. All them gang stalking shit, this shit been going on for months, years. You don't give a shit. Still talk your truth. Talk your truth. Speak out. Let people, people are going through the same shit you're going through. 
star seeds, chosen ones. People need to hear your story too. People need to know what you've been through. Because they be going through the same shit and don't want to speak out. Be an inspiration to others. Okay, God put you on this mission for a reason. He know you can handle it. He ain't going to give you nothing that you can't bear. Okay, babies. All right, my star seeds. All right, my chosen ones. All right, my wonder kids. I love you so much. And I'll be back on for another read, okay? Well, I'm going to be back on for a read. <laughs> I love you. Bye.